Are we ready? Bada bing, bada boom. So, I was messing around in a Company of Heroes match with some friends recently when I made a very interesting discovery. The Goliath, that Nazi explosive RC car of doom, doesn't contribute to the game's population cap. Meaning that, technically, you could just keep building Goliaths forever. Not only are they potentially infinite, but the Goliaths in this game also have two other very useful properties. For one, they are stupidly tanky. They can survive quite a bit of small arms fire before being forcefully detonated. And secondly, believe it or not, the Goliath comes equipped with a twin-turbo 4.8 liter V8, allowing the damn thing to outpace a Porsche 911, which is, as you know, very realistic. So with these three things in mind, I have a very simple idea. We're gonna try and win a game today using nothing but Goliaths. Sadly though, I immediately have to say that it is impossible to win with only Goliaths, since last I checked, these things cannot build buildings or capture territory. So we're gonna have to make a couple of exceptions. We're going to allow engineers, since we need some unit that is capable of both building the bunkers to make these Goliaths, and capture territory so we have the resources needed to build them. And secondly, we're going to allow defenses, because goddamn, these things cost 125 munitions each. So, the overall plan here is we're just gonna have to turtle for, for ages and stockpile these goliaths so we can later make one big overwhelming push all at once. Now, to facilitate the fact that we are going to be playing entirely defensively, we're gonna play on Lyon. Okay, no, you know what? We're actually gonna play on the 2v2 Lyon map because I am willing to bet this one actually has more resource points on it so that it can accommodate more players. And by doing this, we can build up our Goliath army a little bit faster. So we're gonna go with that. And for this game, we're gonna play against a, oh God. See, I wanna put this on harder expert, but to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'd be able to do this against a normal computer. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, I I won't have any units. It's just going to be engineers and, and pack guns, and that's basically it. So yeah, we'll leave this on normal, and we'll, we'll hope that this is going to be okay. All right, this looks good. Let's go. All right, first things first, let's start spamming the fuck out of some engineers and move out. We're immediately also going to take defensive doctrine, because I really want the uh, 88 millimeter flak. Now, I think my strategy here, right, is we're going to blow up uh, this bridge, this bridge, and then prevent them from ever building this bridge, and we're just gonna stack the fuck uh, on the defensive line here in the center. Let's also just keep stacking pioneers, because, I mean, we're never gonna need to use the manpower rate, really. Uh, so I, I don't know what else I'll do with it. Oh shit, oh fuck. Oh, they're here. No, 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 fuck. Oh, we're not ready for this. We're not ready for this. All right, let's get all of the engineers together. Uh, and I guess we'll just try and hold the line against these riflemen. Uh, what are they doing? Okay, they're going this way. Let's go this way as well. Look, I have more engineers than they have riflemen, so surely I'll win, right? That's how this works? It's the Soviet strategy. It doesn't matter the difference in troop quality. It just matters how many you have. Now, do you know what we need? We need, we need a flamethrower. Okay, let's do that. There we go. I think we can fight them off if we use the flamethrowers. I hope. That's not gonna end well. Okay, run away. I need more engineers. I need more bodies, goddammit. Ah, oh, shit, though. This isn't good. What we really need to do, we need to just secure this last bit of bridge here and stop them from sending infantry across. So let's take our army of pioneers and let's have them all go rush and build this bunker. <laughs> you know, this isn't really feeling like Goliaths only yet. It's just feeling like engineer only at this point. That's fine. I can't, I can't really start using the Goliaths yet. We have to, we have to do this in order. Oh my god. Oh no. Come on, fight fire with fire, burn them back. Go, hurry up. Okay, there we go. We've secured, we've secured all sectors. We're good. <laughs> this, these poor riflemen are like, what the fuck are they doing with all these engineers? It's like university open day for fuck's sake. Oh shit. Whew. That was close. Okay, there we go. They can't cross the bridges anymore. So now we're safe. Now we can move on to the second phase. First things first, we're gonna blow these two bridges so that they have to come down the center one in a cone. But while we're waiting for the munitions to do that, because that's gonna be kind of expensive, we're also gonna build some more MG nests. Uh, and then by then we should also have the flax, so it'll be fine. Now I've done some thinking, right, as to where we're gonna have our Goliath factory, and I think I'm gonna put it up here in the corner of the map, because this is as far away uh, from danger as we can possibly get. So I think if it's up here, we'll be okay. All right, there we go. There's our first Goliath is in the tube. We're gonna use this, we're gonna blow this bridge. All right, that's fine. Let's take it down. All right, one down, one to go. All we gotta do is secure the south bridge and then we're fine. And we're also gonna use this mob of engineers to just try and capture some of their munitions points on the other side of the bridge. Well, they don't seem to be trying to stop us, which I guess is because this is just a normal AI. So we'll just, 
We'll just romp around, I guess, in their territory and try and take some stuff. I, uh, they're leaving us alone because they seem to feel the need to rush the most heavily defended area of the map. Which, I mean, if that's what they want to do, it's up to them. Ah, oh, Jesus, this is just an XP farm, isn't it? It's a mob grinder. <laughs> oh, are you fucking kidding me? That's a Hellcat. How do they have a Hellcat? Oh, shit. Right away, right away. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Um, uh, right. Okay. That's the, uh huh. I mean, I have the flak. Okay, let's quick, let's put, we'll put one of these in here. Quick, come on. Hello. You aiming at me? Yeah, you are. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, well, that's that's fine. I meant to do that. So what's important is if we get this flat gun built as soon as possible. I can hear it. I can hear that Hellcat rolling around in the back. Oh fuck! Come on. No, no. You're gonna. Yeah, there it is. Okay, there's the Hellcat. Build another one. Just build more. Just build more. It's fine. Yeah, there we go. If we have two of these flat guns, I think we'll be okay. Hell yeah! All right, with this. With this, my plan will work. We're gonna start building Goliaths over here in the back. We're gonna start producing them en masse. You know, is there any reason to not build more of these? Like, why not build one here? Why don't we just line, like, the entire fucking <laughs> river with flak 88s? Why wouldn't we? Because the Goliaths don't use manpower, so we can just put all of our manpower into defenses while we sit and stack Goliaths. Oh, this is brilliant. This is such a good plan. I can't see this going wrong. <laughs> no, no, you're not. No, it's it's not happening. It's oh Jesus Christ. Hey, into the water he goes. Oh, oh no, look. It's an armored car. Oh, oh, we missed and killed everybody in the building instead. Oh, it's a Sherman. Oh, it's a crocodile as well. It, no, no, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. This is brilliant. I should use this strategy in competitive play. Oh my god, can you imagine getting sniped by a flak 88 and you're just a poor infantryman? Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he's gonna have a hard time getting up tomorrow morning. Jesus Christ. God's sake. It's like Omaha. That's what this is. It's just Omaha. Oh, there goes those engineers. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he just vanished. Game's like, no, I can't even render what remains of his body. Let's just take him off the screen entirely. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! No, no, no. Hold on. Oh, fuck. They did. They did. They went with the artillery doctrine. Oh, shit. That is like the only thing that could have been problematic. That's okay. We'll, we'll just keep our engineers up here at all times. And so if the crew dies, we can always replace with engineers. They're firing at us again. They are. What the fuck? We actually lost that one as well. Oh, fucking hell. We need to kill... Uh, no. Even if we kill that artillery piece, they'll just build another one, right? Oh. Or or they're gonna bring it up <laughs> in range of my flak 88s. <laughs> oh, why was I even worrying? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing the hornet's nest here because if we can keep capturing their munitions posts, we can build this Goliath armada faster. Now you may have noticed by now I'm not actually showing you how many Goliaths are sitting in that uh, overlapping triangle there in the corner of the map because you're not gonna get to see how many there are until the very end. I also noticed I have nearly 1,600 fuel. <laughs> Because I just, I'm not using any. I'm not using any fuel at all. I think I can survive these artillery barrages now, though. I've, I've developed a system of keeping two engineers in each bunker, and every time they do an artillery strike, they all run out, repair everything really, really fast, maybe reman the cannons if they've lost their, uh, their crews, and then get back in. It has also just occurred to me that I think the ideal scenario here would be for us to have cleared a path directly to the enemy base so we can just bum rush with the goliath armada and, and win the game <laughs> i also love how we're slowly accumulating this graveyard of artillery pieces because i i don't i don't know i guess the ai thinks these things are like single use or something that they can't reload so i'm probably gonna aim for maybe like 50 goliaths i think that's that's probably reasonable <laughs> probably reasonable he says about 50 goliaths for fuck's sake i mean just look look at the triangle there on the left does that look safe to you maybe i should poke the hornet's nest see if i can't take more munitions points let's take uh one engineer with like no health who is he's trapped inside this this mob oh man it's really crowded at the uh the engineer convention this year. He can't get through. All right, well, you know what? I've been sitting here for quite a long time now. I don't know how many Goliaths I actually have, but I'm deciding that now is long enough. I think we can win the game with what we have. So let's take a look over here at this uh, 
very exasperated looking triangle. This is how many Goliaths I've accumulated over the course of the game. And you may be saying, Vale, but th that's not that many Goliaths. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> They're kind of meshed into each other at the second. So there's, I think there's like 30 something, maybe, maybe 40. I don't know. All right, well, what we're going to do, we're going to recall all engineers to the base. The engineers, okay, are actually going to be very, very important to this strategy. Because what we're going to do is we're going to have this, this mob of engineers lead the charge for the Goliaths. Because we don't, we only want to use the Goliaths on like the buildings and stuff, right? Oh, we can, wait, we can build some more. So we're going to have the engineers go first and hopefully just soften them up a little bit. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is, this is the, the engineering Goliath tactic. That's really what this is. While this is going on, we'll just keep building Goliaths. So we're in no rush here. We'll just keep going. Meanwhile, the entire 2019 graduating class of Berlin Technical University are going to work their way down here. We're going to repair this bridge and we're going to push these guys to probably about here. How fast is this bridge going to go with this many? Holy, holy shit. Wow. Wow. Those, those blocks really move. <laughs> Wow, that's incredible. Holy shit. Secure this area. Is this area clear? It looks pretty clear. Oh, that's not clear. Sector not clear. Sector not clear. See, this is why I didn't just send the Goliaths in because I knew, I knew there'd be shit like this to deal with. Well, let's send a detachment of engineers and try and go around the side. And while this is going on, we're still gonna, you see, you see, this isn't growing. The size of this clump is not actually getting any bigger. It's completely static. That's fine. Right, we're gonna move. Oh fuck, are you shitting me? Why have they got so many MG nests just around everywhere? Oh wait, 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 we can go past this one. It's okay. Oh, careful, careful, careful. All right, there we go. We've taken it down. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh no. Run away. Get out of there, boys. Get out. What are we gonna do about that? Well, if we run away this way, maybe it'll go away. He's not gonna come this way, right? Okay, I think he's gone. I think he's gone. Shit. Oh no, why are they coming around now? What is it about now that makes you want to do, do this, America? Come on. Where are you going? You can't possibly know about them, right? They're in the fog. You don't know they're there. You don't know they're there. Oh fuck. What's he doing? Why is he going there? If I, if I even so much as see him, I'm gonna retreat. Fuck. Oh, okay. All right, chief, off you go. Okay, I think he's going to the front line. I think we're okay. We're gonna build one final Goliath since I was just about there on the munitions. And then we're just gonna move. And my God, it sounds like there's an electrical generator here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, oh my God. We're gonna select them and we're gonna tell them to move, move here. This is a, this is a test. <laughs> they can't even move. <laughs> uh, what if I, okay. We're gonna have to like disengage them one like a few at a time from this this pile. Oh dear God! Oh my God! Oh no! There's so many of them. <laughs> there's so many. Oh my God! Okay, 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 okay. Oh man, the pathfinding is just not having it. She's look at the fucking map now. Look how many triangles there are. Jesus Christ, this was a, this was such a good idea. Holy fuck. Why did I never think about this before? Alright, we're gonna have to move them, I guess, in squads of like five. Because otherwise the pathfinding just can't seem to handle them. Game is actually lagging a little bit now, which is also hilarious. I have a 2080 Ti and I'm barely touching 60 FPS with this many Goliaths. All right, all right. So let's move them to there. Oh God, managing this fucking swarm of death is just a nightmare. And we barely even, we haven't even started trying to use them yet. We also got to be careful, right? Cause if one of them blows up, all of the ones around it will blow up as well. And that could just set off a chain reaction that we're not coming back from. Actually, for that reason, let's uh, let's just save this as before the accident. All right, here we go, though. They're all they're still streaming in. I don't think the enemy knows I'm doing this yet, so we're safe. I think the plan is we'll send them out from this location to the enemy base in in squads. OK, because I don't think I can't I can't tell them all to go at once. Right. Because if we lose a few of them. Um, then we lose them all. All right, let's send, we're going to send some engineers out first. Um, let's see if the way to the base is clear. Ah, but there's going to be a, a machine gun nest right there, isn't there? You know what? I have this 280 millimeter rocket barrage. It only costs 200 munitions. Maybe we could use that and just get rid of this MG nest. All right, here we go. We almost have enough. Let's uh, have these guys. They're already injured. Send the injured first. If you're already injured, you're worth less to me. So come on, get going. Oh, oh. 
There we go. We got it. All right, let's bring up the first squad of Goliaths. We're going to bring them in. Oh my God, here we are. We're in their base. Hi. This is okay, right? You guys don't mind? Oh shit though. They've got they got some uh, some men here. Oh fuck, they got tanks as well. All right, Goliath squad, move in, move in. <laughs> go. Go, my pretties, go. <laughs> Bye. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh my god, they do so much more damage than I thought they did. <laughs> What have I been waiting for all this time? Look how much damage they do. All right, fuck it. We're bringing them all in. We're gonna bring every last Goliath in. Go, boys, go. Everybody, go. They can't. They can't stop this. Are they all gonna? Yeah, they're all gonna roll up like in a line as well, which is just fucking ridiculous. <laughs> na 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 na. Uh oh. Oh shit. I didn't mean to do that to all of them. Keep going the way you're going. Give me one of these. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, I think I just blew up like five of them there. Oh shit. Oh well. Uh, you take the MG nests. You destroy that tank. <laughs> Hello there, my friend. Come on, I just want a hug. Give me a hug, my friend. Give me a hug. You know what they call this? They call this playing with your food. They're not- they can't do anything. They can't fight back. Their base is covered in goliaths. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine coming out of basic training, literally leaving the tent, having finished your rounds, and just getting blown up the moment you put your foot outside the tent? I mean, that does pretty much sum up the U.S. experience in Afghanistan, doesn't it? We have so many. We did not need this many. I did, I did not need this many Goliaths. You know, I feel so defeated. You know what this feels like? It feels like I went, worked, and got my PhD, but I've ended up working at McDonald's making $700 an hour without it. Like, I didn't need to go through all this effort to overwhelm them, did I? You know what? Fuck it. Let's just, let's send all the Goliaths to the base. Let's go. Let's put an end to this madness. Take him down. I'm just gonna queue up another five, I guess. I had the munitions for it. Oh, he's kind of ignoring me. Like, he's just sent, no, no, stop, no. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to build buildings and units. This isn't okay. Okay. Papa Vale says no, which means no. Are you using a flamethrower on a Goliath? Excuse me, that's that's not okay. Oh shit. Oh no, a tank. Whatever will we do? <laughs> just the just the endless noise of, of tracts. <laughs> they just don't shut up. There's so many of them. They just they're oh god. Let's look at their base. Shall we just go like hug their base? Yeah, why don't we? Everybody, everybody, everybody bunch up. Everybody get close. Let's take them down. Everybody find a spot. There you go. Do you think this is good enough? Sorry, did you just say he defended the fatherland until death? It's a robot. What the fuck do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's, everybody, we're gonna hug this engineer. Everybody come here. I still have so many of them left, for fuck's sake. Everybody, everybody up. Come on, let's go. Death by Roomba. That's what this is. That's what these things are. These are just Nazi death Roombas, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Are we ready? Bada bing, bada boom. Why haven't I won yet? Should have ended by now. All right, let's send in the engineers. I find out. I'm curious now. Why? Why isn't this ended yet? Defended the fatherland until death. Oh man, I really like how how inclusive the Nazis are. Like they don't they don't care that you're you know a, a death Roomba on tracks. They still consider you a person who has defended the fatherland until death. All right, I think this is it. If I blow this up, will it end? No. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the answer was yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that was ridiculous. <laughs> he has negative vehicle score. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you poor fool. So I produced 108 engineers and had 95 casualties. That's unfortunate. Vehicle 60. I had 64 Goliaths. <laughs> Christ. 64. Oh my god. You know, I did think I had too many, but I didn't think I had that many. So I used 56 of them, and eight of them were killed by friendly fire. Oh, look at this. I had 8,900 munitions. He only had 1,800. All right, so clearly what we've learned here today is that what the Germans should have done is just have invested in Goliaths and Flak 88s, because clearly they didn't need anything else, you know? Nazis could have easily won the war if they just invested in Roomba. Right, well, that's all for me today. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.